the placebo effect is definitely a clue that we live in a simulation. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, sh it shows you that what you have accepted to be true can be modified. 100%. You got, you got stomach pains two or three times a week. And you and no diagnosis has ever has ever resulted in you receiving the medication that would that would bring relief. And this goes on for years and you got a stomach pain. And this is going on. And this is something that's become your part of your reality. And then somebody tells you something and in, in, in hope and faith, the information they gave you was so profound. You just know that if you can just get it to that medicine and they make it difficult for you to get it. But finally, you get access to it. And when you get it and you take it. And all of a sudden, man, your little stomach problems go away. And they didn't give you nothing but some bullshit, but it still worked. When that happens, and we have it documented as happening multiple times with many different types of people, if it's true for one person, then it's true for all people. So if you can, if you can modify reality by believing in something, yeah then there's no end to the things that you can believe about yourself. And one of those, and another, and another way to apply the placebo effect is, is basically uh, retro causality. Because if I'm going to believe while my stomach hurts right now, that my stomach's not going to hurt, <clears throat> that my stomach's not going to hurt if I do something and then I do it and, and my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. If I'm going to do something like that, then why not? Who says I have to restrict my, 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 the perimeters of my experience in the present? Why not go ahead and believe that a certain situation began developing in my past? And then paint, paint a mental picture of exactly how that would have happened. And then believe the very fiction I just invented. And, and totally move forward as if it did happen. There's no difference. Not only can you create your own placebo effect, you can be the placebo. And then you can transmute a total fiction that you invented about your past into a present reality. Yeah, it's a retro, retro causality. Believing in a in a false version of the past can create a real version of your future. Yeah, so yeah, we're 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 dealing with things that are highly highly specific to the spirit because that's what a placebo effect is. It's one hundred percent. It's spiritual. Only the spirit has the ability to change what is into what isn't or what isn't into what is. So that's a, yeah, placebo effect is awesome. And I encourage people to do their own research, go into deep, go into depth and, 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 and see all the other applications, make it real to you. I mean, I know my, a bunch of my archaic veterans, they already know this. I've mentioned placebo effect in the past, but I never went into detail, but it's a, it's, it's, it's a game changer. 100%. If a total stranger can feed you a lie and get you to act on that lie and it results in good to you, then just lie to yourself. Just lie to yourself until the lie becomes the truth. <clears throat> yes, sir. Oh, Victoria Cunningham, call those things that be not as though they were. That's right. Cite that scripture then. Scripture's got a lot of good in it. No doubt. 